Hi, this is Casa Grande Mountain. You can see the parking lot and the trail we're going to be walking up towards the top of the mountain. We come out here to look at uh, metamorphic rocks. To get here, you take Treckle Road through Casa Grande, across I-8, and then turn left at Hannah Road. The rock on the left has some micas in it. It's a mica schist. The rock on the right is quartzite. Here's a shinier example of mica schist. Here we're crossing a stream with some finer grain stuff we're looking at. Sandy kind of stuff on the ground. Here's the stream channel itself. And again, you can probably see some rocks with layers in them. That one looks like it's a little bit like a knife. It's got some layers. Maybe we call that a migmatite. That is it almost melted nice. Some mica schist folders in here. Notice the rocks in the stream are all angular, meaning this thing hardly ever runs. I've never actually seen water in the stream. And then we're just going to cross the stream and head on up the hill. Here we're looking down on the stream. You can see fairly large rocks. Everything's pretty angular. Never a lot of water here. The road cut here, you see a lot of angular rocks mixed with soil. This is what a, a slide looks like. The rocks here have never been in a lot of water, so they're still pretty angular. There's some soil mixed in with it. If this was to turn into rocks, it would be a brickia. This rock is a good example of a rock with lots of foliations in it, lots of layers. And we're going to try and go in close to it. There are little grains in there, which if they were better formed, uh, might be garnets. And you can see a lot of mica material in there. This mountain has some interesting stuff on it. This particular rock has some foliated material. That is, it has layers in it in the middle of a bunch of stuff that does not have layers in it. So the history is very complicated in here. I'll pan around. You can see parts of it have no layers. Parts of it have fine layers in this rock. The rock is complicated. You can see parts of it have layers, foliations. Other parts do not. So the history of the rock is complicated. Every spot has a different history. The upper part of the trail, as you can see here, is paved. And we're heading up towards those antennas in the distance. Here's a big rock that's kind of split in two. Kind of interesting. And there's a squirrel up there. I don't know if anybody can see him. Running around on that cliff up there. That boulder has some nice striping, and it looks a little bit like swirled marble fudge. This is like a migmatite, almost remelted metamorphic rock at the edge of that big stream I'm hiking in. Cool old cactus. Here's another place where foliated stuff cuts through unfoliated material, that is layered stuff in the middle of other material. Probably the clearest example up here. Dark, kind of basaltic stuff cutting through foliated stuff above and below it along this seam. So think of a dike cutting through existing uh, metamorphic rock in this outcrop. There's a great example of swirling material 
Again, all probably almost melted amygmatite. Cliff is quite complicated. Light and dark materials, things that pinch out, an apparent offset or fault right there. There are the towers, we're getting close. Kind of hot out here. And that's the view back down towards the cars and a tabletop mountain in the distance. Another clip with lighter and darker materials that have wedged into each other. Main look at looking off in the distance. Signal Peak is that pointy one over there where our main campus is. Maybe you can see a train down there. Not real clear today. And it's Palo Verde. And Pryor is about to head back down. Have a good one. Here's that beautiful bike again. Dark basaltic stuff cutting across. Things with layers at right angles to it. Foliations. There's a rock there which is a good example of a nice, it has alternating light and dark layers in it. This rock looks like a good example of rock fall. Um, you wouldn't want to build along here because a rock that big could land on your property. Okay, we're back down on the flats. In the distance is Tabletop Mountain, an old basaltic volcano. And we're going to pan back across the cactus up onto Casa Grande Mountain, which we just hiked up to the overlook. So the reason we came out here, this is a metamorphic core complex mountain. That means the ancient part of the rock of the mountain, the ancient part of the mountain has been exposed. The core is exposed at the surface. The rocks here are believed to be over a billion years old. That is over a thousand million years old. Some of the older rocks in the state exposed here. By contrast, the rocks over at Signal Peak are about 60 million years old and the rocks on Tabletop Mountain are even younger than that, I believe. Okay, I think this is going to conclude the hike. Have a good one.